What's up guys? Bad Bass and Adventures and today we're on a new adventure just like always but we're doing something a little different. We're not hitting up the big lake. We're doing some pond hopping but for rainbow trout. These are stalker rainbows. Um, they've, I've actually been trying to film this video probably for like three different trout seasons um, and they've given me the slip. I see people catch them all around me. They screw with me. I don't know why but I think I've got some setups ready for them and uh, definitely enough different types of bait for them so this will be uh, this is a learning video definitely dad we're gonna get him on Does this be your first stalker trout yeah yeah okay first stalker trout my dad used to fish for trout and stuff up in Oregon and used to see some real uh, the, the real rainbow trouts but uh, we're gonna give this a shot so if you uh, enjoy my videos guys hit the like button Hit the subscribe button like always and uh, get ready to come on this adventure. It is a uh, freezing, freezing cold this morning. I mean, Texas cold at least. It's 30 degrees. We've got the hand warmers. We've got all the gear. Um, let's get to it. All right, set up some bass tackle. Set up some other stuff, guys. I can't just sit and sit and do shit. I might throw around the maps a little bit too this morning. A little inline spinner. All right guys, got one pole set up, two poles. My dad's got his pole set up. Throw around this little shaky head for a little bit. See if we can get a, a largemouth bass bite going on. I really should be throwing a little inline spinner around. I mean, it is really cold. Should be fired up this morning. Dad, you got one. Dad, you got one. Dad, you got one. You got one. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Look at all of them right there. You got him? Missed him. Damn, dude, you had him, bro. God damn it. All right, no more dicking around. You had him, dude. I... Dude, I feel like I keep getting jerked off here. What the fuck's going on? I'm gonna start doing some casting around here too with the spinner. So let's see. There's a little bit of running water right here. I'm gonna cast this thing around in this area. Let's see. Got one. Hey, hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad, bring your pole over here. There we go, guys. Hey. Hey. Uh. There's the rest of the stuff's over there. Yeah. I cast it right in there. Trout number one. I am pumped. He hit it hard. All right. Number one, dude. <laughs> okay. We're right here. We're right out toward the middle. Or over Ooh, they're slimy as fuck. No, out, out in the pocket. Just okay. step on the other side of me, Dad. Huh? On the, get on the other side of me. Okay. Trout number one. Guys, I'm so fucking excited. This is the fish has been giving me the slip for so fucking long. Like a ridiculously long time, this fish has been giving me the slip. Like y'all don't realize. How much I've been working for this damn fish. And it's for me to catch him on a, a little maps. I love it. Yes, dude. Fucking awesome. No. Because <laughs> we're gonna be keeping them. So. All right, Mr. True. Let's get ten of these. We need nine more, Dad. He hit it hard too. I thought it was a bass because I didn't. I don't know what they hit like, but he stomped on it. I think they're gonna be up close to that move. I literally cast that thing like one, huh? one cast over here. It was first cast. I seen the moving water and I was like, they've got to be. That's natural to them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I just missed one. Sorry, Dad. Oh, that's all right. I almost oh. fucking hooked you. Oh, you see my line was moving? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh. God damn. Damn it, Dad. I said you had one. You, you still got him? I got him too. Yay. Yeah, this is a better one. Oh, yes. Damn. Yes, yes, yes. Try number two. Oh, dude, Fucking bro. suck my balls, baby. Dude, this one's a pretty looking bugger. Ow, he's got me hooked. Huh? <laughs> he almost hooked me. Yes, trout number two, guys. Boom. They're right here. I'm not even going to put him on the loop. I'm just putting him through. Yeah. Yes, guys, trout number two. All right, guys. This is what's doing it right here. Just the mets. Hitting them with the number two. My dad's even getting hit. We're, we've got a bunch of bait, too. Oh, my other pole and shit's still over there. I gotta go get it. Let's finish this up. Eight more. Got another one. Number three. I'm a fucking trout slayer, dog. They love the maps, dude. Trout number three. Dude, they, I'm telling you, they stop it too. Like, stop it. Trout? That'd be fucking fun, dude. Call me, call me a trout slayer. That's number four, baby. That's a little one. I don't care. No limit. We're eating them whole. Huh? I said I'm going to eat them whole anyway. No limit. Oh, I know. This kid's about to try to get in my hole. Watch. He's like, let's go fish by that guy. He's catching all the fish. There we go. There's number five. All right, old man, I'm done. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. You want the MEPS? Yeah. Of course I do. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, trout. All right. <laughs> Here, you take the MEPS. I got five fruit. I'm done. Damn, my hands. All right, I'm gonna, you want to see me catch some largemouth now, old man? Yeah. Show you how it's done. All right, guys. There you go. Five, five trout. That was that was easy. I don't know how they've been giving me the slip all these years. Yeah, at least you caught something finally. Have you got any hits? Over there on that wacky worm, I did. I lost him. Uh, yeah, that bass come up and hit that so much. That I thought, mets. Wow, I had a nice. Nice trout. I had to quit for a second. I'll catch some of your limit. Right handed. I got a couple good hits. I just didn't I mean, snatch it fast enough. You know? Not that quick. That's so weird rolling right handed. That was the weirdest shit in my life. Feels like I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, you can tell when you get a hit on that. I know this pole's light. It's <laughs> like with that bass, I got four hits. Right through there's where I keep getting hits. It's right through where you're going. Yeah. Right-handed, <laughs> so weird. <laughs> All right, this is going towards your limit, Dad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. That's fucking number six. It's so weird. Your pole does feel good, though. It's got good action. It's just right hand.
Got him. <laughs> On the little rock. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking look at that rod, dude. <laughs> it still didn't feel like anything. <laughs> dude, these are pretty good looking fish. I mean, for stalkers, they look all right. Yeah. This is a tiny one. I'm tossing him back. Nah. Keep it because it's going to die if you don't. You think? Probably right. We're going to cook them whole anyway, so. Juan Moss, old man. That's the spot right there. There you go, Dad. Largy? Big trout. Nice. Finished up, son. Good job, Dad. Let me see that one. That's not a bad one. That one's about 10 inches. Yeah. That's about the biggest ones in here too. That's 10 inches. Hell yeah, dude. Put them in. Let's rock and roll. Let's get right. the fuck out of here. You know what? I think I figured it out. I gotta let it sink to the bar. I fucking told you the whole time. <laughs> let's, let's get the hell out of here, son. Take the, the bass boat out to Decker. Go catch some wiper real quick. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, man. Quit fucking around. All right, fine, let's go. All right, guys, me and my dad made it back home. Got our, our trout here. Some good ones here, they're like 10, eight to 10 inches, that's what they were. There's no limit on size. We got a two-man limit here, done in about, it was about an hour and a half, um, and we were messing around, so not bad. We went into HEB and got some fresh ingredients here had to go organic got some thyme got some dill got some rosemary olive oil extra virgin in the comments down below tell me what the fuck that means anybody ever know extra virgin and some lemons the idea with these is uh am i going ahead and do the uh gut and headless um cook them whole because like i said they're little start here, making an incision Right here, I think they call it the vent, but uh, you already know what it is. Make an incision all the way down. On the, right there. And then you're gonna cut right behind the noggin there. Cut all the way down to the, just to like the, what is it, the backbone right there. Don't cut through it, because you can actually, pretty positive, like pull out most of the stuff with the head on there. I'm not professional, I don't know, but. Ah, well, it didn't work. I guess I cut through the vertebrae. Yep. So we'll try it on the next one. Try what? I cut all the way through the vertebrae on this one, but it's all right. Just gonna pull that out, run my finger down the back, right through here. Yeah, see, that's the red blood. Mm hmm. Look at that though. Got some good, good pieces of meat in there. There's actually some pretty good meat in there. Just get out this gross sh shot here. And there you go, buddy. Alright, guys. Dinner time. Time to make these trout. Now I know for a fact you're going to put the shell. Got a few items, did the prep work already. So we don't have to waste time with that stuff. We're going to stuff these trout. Onions, lemons, fresh garlic, thyme, rosemary, dill. A little bit of olive oil to coat them, salt and pepper, keep it simple on the seasonings. We're going to use these parchment bags um, as well. I think it's better lighting in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, got a few here, got the family over, y'all can hear, and we're going to cook up some trout.
units is up and they came out beautiful. I already pulled one of the oh shit, this is kind of, kind of small. I already pulled out one of the sacks and it looks money in there. Let's see if we can get a little peek. Look at that. Just peeling away. The skin just peeling right off it, flaking up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get some of this shit served up. Look at that. Just coming right off the bone, meat and all. Oof. We gotta taste this. Smell it. Alright, guys. When they pulled them out of the bag, so they like literally like the skin pulled right off, and like the meat is just like comes right off the bone. No candy for Randy. Not fishy. That's what's up. No candy for Randy. Um, in the bags, I really um, just seen them in the aisle when I went to get aluminum foil. Uh -huh. And I was like, hey, they got lemon and fish on them. I got one. I'm gonna use those. <laughs> and that's how I feel. They're not bad at all. Now, if you just pull it really carefully, the bones just stay right on it. On the. Mm hmm. What? Yeah, just a minute. I'm putting. Water in my coffee pot. Good. Hang Good. on. Uh, little bone. Make me some coffee. Yeah. Like I said, you gotta be careful. I gotta put water in first. Too low. But hey, that's pretty good. And on the top half, you know, there's no bone right there. But if you try to fillet these fish, you would have nothing. Mhm. Mm what? I like tarpon sauce on fish. I'm a fried fish kind of guy, but. It's good. What? They say Long John Silver's, bro. Yeah, it's Chef Four ID. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not bad. No, right? That's not bad. Not bad at all. It's only what five fish person. Mm-hmm. Yep, tar sauce for money. I'm I'm a sauce they guy. Go catch me some of these. I know, as long as you took that bloodline out of them, you're good. All right, guys, that'll bring my little trout catch and cook to a conclusion. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Hope you maybe learned a little something. And uh, if y'all like the trout fishing videos, let me know. If you like catch and cook videos, let me know down in the uh, comments down below. But I really appreciate the views. I really appreciate you guys watching. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Bad bassing out.